Good morning, and welcome to the 75th anniversary celebration of the Lanham Act. My name is Joe Cleveland, and I'm vice chair of the intellectual property section of the State Bar of Texas. The USPTO and the Texas IP section are delighted to co-host this special anniversary event celebrating the Lanham Act. Today's program features a trademark boot camp with a fantastic lineup of speakers, a live trademark trial and appeal board hearing, and a TTAB judges panel discussion moderated by Hope, I'm, I'm sorry, moderated by Megan Hoyt. This program would not have been possible without the support and assistance of the USPTO and members of the IP section. I want to especially thank the great Hope Shimabuku and her fantastic team at the USPTO, Lisa Peschel, the chair of the Texas State Bar IP section, and Craig Stone, my co-chair, Mary Pimentel and Leela Madden, who helped organize today's events, and all the distinguished judges and speakers who graciously agreed to participate in this virtual celebration. Now, here's an important announcement to the attorneys who want to receive MCLE credit. Attorneys are responsible for submitting their own appropriate MCLE forms for approved MCLE credits listed for each state on the Lanham website found at www.lanham75.org. Also, at the end of each presentation, there will be a slide displaying a keyword. This keyword is used to help track attendance for those wanting to receive CLE credit. Attorneys will need to write down the keyword on the attendance form found on the Lanham website. At the end of the two-day seminar, attendance verification forms must be emailed to lanhamcle at upspto.gov. Now, don't worry if you did not get all that information. We'll be providing written updates about receiving MCLA credits throughout the seminar. During the seminar, if you have any questions, please send them to lanhamques at uspto.gov. Now, it's my honor and privilege to introduce Hope Shimabuku, the Texas Regional Director of the USPTO. Director Shimabuku is responsible for leading one of the five regional offices of the USPTO, covering eight states, Arkansas, Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Tennessee, and of course, Texas. Since the Texas Regional Office was established over five years ago, Director Shimabuku has developed deep and lasting ties with IP practitioners, the business community, and the innovation ecosystem throughout this community and this region. She has championed the pursuit of STEM fields and has spearheaded the office's participation in over 1,200 outreach events, reaching over 83,000 stakeholders. For those who have not had the privilege of knowing or working with Hope, Hope is a wealth of knowledge and a true force of nature. We are extremely, extremely fortunate to have a person of her caliber serving in this region. Please welcome Director Hope Chimabuka. Thank you, Joe, for that wonderful, warm introduction. And thank you to everyone who's joining us today for our celebration of the Lanham Act 75th anniversary. As Joe mentioned, my name is Hope Shimabuku, and I am the Regional Director for the Texas Regional Office. I will be serving as your moderator throughout the day. The USPTO is excited to be partnering with the State Bar of Texas Intellectual Property Section to put on this monumental two-day event focused on trademarks and the important role trademarks play in our everyday lives as well as the economy. To echo Joe's remarks, I would like to thank Joe and the State Bar of Texas IP section, as well as my team at the Texas Regional Office, the Trademark Operations Team, as well as the Office of General Counsel, the Communications and IT teams, for all the time you have spent preparing and now culminating in this two-day event. In particular, I'd like to give a special shout out to Taylor Elfervig, my Acting Regional Outreach Officer, Christine Nelson, Christine Cooper, John Palafutis, who is now retired but replaced by Linda Hosler, and Nicole Wishart, who have been the core USPTO team for this project. Today's entire event is being broadcast nationwide and is presented to you live. Throughout the day, you will have the opportunity to engage with and ask questions of the speakers. As a reminder, please send all questions to lanhamques at uspto.gov as there is not a live chat or Q&A feature as some of you may be familiar with. 
in your email, it is very important that you include the title of the presentation and the subject line so that we will know which speaker to address your questions to. This email box will be monitored live throughout the day and the questions will be funneled to the speakers during their respective presentations. If we're not able to get to your question today, the speakers will have the opportunity to respond to your questions after today's program. Today's session will be recorded, and following this program, a copy of today's and tomorrow's sessions, as well as the presentations, will be available to you on our website, uspto.gov, as well as the lanm75.org website. Please note that it may take up some time to get everything formatted so that it can be made available online. So if you do not see the materials immediately, please check the websites again. As a final reminder, for those seeking CLE credit, please remember to record the keyword in your record of attendance form. Remember to send that form and your evaluation form to LanhamCLE at USPTL.gov at the conclusion of the program tomorrow. If you need any other information regarding today's events, including a copy of today's agenda, please refer to LanhamCLE.org website. Without further ado, I would like to introduce Drew Hirschfeld, who is performing the functions and duties of the Undersecretary of Commerce for Intellectual Property and Director of the USPTO. In other words, the really long title to say that Mr. Hirschfeld is currently the head of the USPTO. His permanent role is Commissioner for Patents, where he manages and leads the patent organization as its Chief Operating Officer. He is responsible for managing and directing all aspects of the organization that affect administration of the patent operations, examination policy, patent quality management, international patent cooperation, resources, and planning, and budget administration. Mr. Hirschfeld began his career at the USPTO as an examiner almost 30 years ago. He received a Bachelor of Science from the University of Vermont and a JD from Western New England College of Law. Mr. Hirschfeld will be providing the opening remarks to today's sessions. Over to you, Mr. Hirschfeld. Thank you, Hope, for the very kind introduction and a warm welcome to everyone joining us for this excellent two-day program on trademarks and a tribute to the National Trademark System created 75 years ago by Representative Fritz Lanham. It's my pleasure to be here with all of you today and to be kicking off this event. We're grateful to everyone who worked so hard on putting this event together especially those who assisted from the State Bar of Texas, the many trademark staff at the USPTO who assisted, the National Inventors Hall of Fame, and of course, Hope and her team at our regional office in Denver. I also wanna just say that, that I really appreciate Joe's uh, nice words about Hope, and I agree with all of them. Hope is a wealth of knowledge, and we're very fortunate to have her at PTO. Uh, the two-day program that we have is packed with wonderful information. You'll hear from many of the USPTO staff, including our TTAB judges, about what it takes to protect your brands and marks. You'll also get a firsthand account of the new rules associated with the Trademark Modernization Act of 2020. By the way, we're currently in a comment period for our proposed rules for the TMA, so I hope you will all review the uh, notice of proposed rulemaking and you'll all comment so you can assist us in having the most informed final rule. We've also just recently completed two roundtables where we discussed the proposed rules and received comments from many members of the public. We've had hundreds of people attend each of those sessions. Uh, you'll hear more about that shortly. Tomorrow, there's a compelling session on successful women and IP law. It's an exceptional lineup of women, including many of my former colleagues at USPTO. It includes Michelle Lee, the former director of the USPTO, and who, by the way, uh, hired me as commissioner for patents. Uh, you'll hear from Shira Perlmutter, the director of the U.S. Copyright Office, formerly a senior executive at USPTO. You'll hear from the Honorable Barbara Lynn, chief judge of the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Texas. Mary Boney Dennison, former commissioner for the trademarks uh, at USPTO, who I worked with for many years while she was commissioner. Uh, Dorian Daly, executive vice president and general, general counsel at Oracle. And Lisa Blatt of Williams and Connolly. This is an important discussion and we're all well aware that women are significantly underrepresented in IP, and we're fortunate to have such a great group of role models with us for this event. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention our National Council for Expanding Access to Innovation. Uh, the purpose of this new council is to create a national strategy for vastly broadening the engagement of women and other represented groups in IP law, invention, and the invention economy. 
Look, uh, please look for more about that uh, in the coming weeks from us at USPTO, weeks and months. Uh, this is a critically important initiative. It's one of my top priorities, and uh, you can also get more information from the USPTO.gov website. Uh, turning back to your agenda, we'll also get to hear tomorrow from some of the nation's top trademark luminaries, including Chief Judge uh, of the TTAB, Jerry Rogers, Trademark Commissioner, David Gooder, Chair of the IP Section at the Texas Bar, Lisa Peschel, our Secretary of Commerce, Gina Raimondo, and the Honorable Kay Granger, representing the 12th District in, te in Texas. We're also looking forward to award ceremonies for the Inventor of the Year, the Tom Arnold Lifetime Achievement Award, and the Fritz Lanham Trademark Award. And finally, we get to view the world premiere of a new documentary film, 75 Years of the Lanham Act, produced by the National Inventors Hall of Fame. It's a program truly benefiting a uh, bit truly befitting of the anniversary of the Lanham Act of 1946 and all the good that has come from our nationalized system of trademark protection and enforcement. We have many good reasons to celebrate the success of our trademark system, and we can be we've inspired by so many people who have dedicated their lives to continually improving our system of IP protection. We have good reason to have high hopes for the next 75 years. Thank you, and I'm honored to be a part of this program and kick off today's events. Thank you.